In this video I have for you a movement tips and tricks guide to benefit you and help you out in the battlefield on Arena Breakout. If you guys are new, make sure to drop a like on the subscribe to the channel, both of those things help me out a ton. Getting right into it, stamina is a critical part to this game because most other mobile shooters as of right now don't actually even have a stamina bar. You obviously do have fatigue every once in a while, but for the most part you can just run forever. However, in Arena Breakout you do have to let your stamina bar regenerate or cool down. This is very annoying, but it makes the game have that aspect of realism because as you guys know, Arena Breakout pushes for a ton of realism in their game. So if you also have damaged body parts, you will move slower as a whole sometimes. But if you use a painkiller, you actually can oftentimes have a quick little boost and it kind of subsides the pain and just again, like in real life. Another trick to actually regain stamina faster is to actually go and lay down or go prone. It's because you are laying down as opposed to standing up, so you will be able to just kind of regain stamina faster. The next trick is a bit Connor intuitive to popular belief, but if someone knows that you are there in a gun battle and you know you can zigzag like a pro gamer then actually using zigzag in this game is going to be very useful because most people turn their weapons to semi-automatic because you most times need two or three shots at most to kill somebody so they don't want to waste their ammo so if you zigzag around with someone who's using a semi-auto weapon this actually is a very good way to sneak up on them and then pick them off with an SMG or even run up right on them and shoot them with a pistol or a melee. I wouldn't recommend trying this all the time, but if you have to do a zigzag in this game, it actually can be very beneficial in certain instances, so keep that in mind. Leaning is in this game and it is very, very important. You need to learn how to use these buttons in order to actually make sure that you are becoming good at this game because leaning can be very beneficial to actually taking proper angles on certain locations, things like that. And also quick peeking can be very useful to actually get information without showing yourself too fast. If you don't know what quick peeking is, basically it's when you line up at an angle and then you peek it really fast, which I recommend having a hold to peek on so that you don't have to have to continuously tap the button. But yeah, if you're at a hot location and you don't want to show yourself but you're trying to get information on the people that are there, quick peeking can definitely be one of the most useful mechanics in this entire game. Also, if you're trying to reposition but you don't know if someone's for sure there or not, and you're not comfortable doing a quick peek, then you can also do a lean and run, which is when you basically lean as you're running parallel with the wall about to add out into the open but you're leaning so that you get a quick idea before you actually head out into the open so that you know if you need to you can turn right back around. You are running laterally so you are running a little bit slower but it is worth it to run laterally. Do a quick peek as you're about to exit the cover of the wall and go out into the open. That millisecond of information time can be life or death. So it is important to know these movements with leaning. The backpack system can also surprisingly affect your movement if you didn't see it. There is a weight system on your character and if you carry more in your backpack or more in your chest rig or the heavier your weapon is so on and so forth, the heavier you weigh basically the slower you will move. There's just like Tarkov on PC where not only do you have stamina, but you can actually have your stamina affected by how much you weigh as well. So keep in mind, you don't want to weigh close to the 70 kilogram mark. You want to make sure that you are around, I would say 30 to 50 would be a safe range. Once you get above 50 into the 60s range, you are going to start to notice that your movement will be affected. So keep that in mind. With that though, that will wrap up this movement guide. If you guys want to make sure to drop a like on the subscribe to the channel, both of those things definitely have a ton of help. This video did help you in any way shape or form if it did let me know what did help you out down in the comment section below but yeah that's really all i have for today peace have a good rest of the day